In this equation, we want to estimate the integration of this function from 1 to 4. And we have uh, here to calculate, we want to calculate two uh, approximations of that integration, L3 and R3. Both of them are different estimations for that integration. Um, with L3, we mean 3 here means we want to create three rectangles from 1 to 4, create three rectangles uh, using the lift point of each one of them. So here, the first rectangle, we have 1 and 2. We use 1 to create the rectangle, not 2, um, because 2 is the right point. Basically, in R3, also, we need to create three rectangles, but now here we use the right one. Look at this. We use 2 here, the right point of the first rectangle to create the rectangle. Uh, the second rectangle here in L3, we use, as you see, the lift point, 2, to the length will be f of 2 uh, to create the second rectangle, while here in the second rectangle, we use the right point, which is a 3. So f of 3 is the length of the rectangle. And same thing with, with the third rectangles uh, here and here. Here we use the lift point, and here we use the right point. Uh, so basically, the area between the x-axis and, and the curve will be equal or approximated by finding the sum of the areas of these three rectangles in this case and in this case. As you know, the area of a rectangle is the width times the length. The width always 1 here, but the length is uh, f of 1 in this case. So for the first rectangle, it is negative 3. So that's why length is, so, so the width is 1, the length is negative 3 for the first rectangle. For the second one, again, the width is 1, the length, as you see, is negative 6. Um, the third rectangle, same idea, 1 times negative 7 is the length of the third rectangle, and the sum is negative 16. For the right one, um, now, the, still, we have the width is 1 for each one of them. As you see, the width 1, 1, 1, but the length is different. The length of this rectangle is negative 6. Then the length of the second rectangle is negative 7. The length of the third rectangle is negative 6. So we add them up. We get negative 16. Um, in um, L3, we have uh, some parts of the area that were not calculated. So this is considered as uh, an underestimation. Um, but uh, in R3, we have overestimation because we calculated parts that are uh, outside the area. Uh, but both of them are used as estimations for the integration of this function from 1 to 4.